Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and kick things off now. Um, thanks everyone again for joining today's session. Um, so I'm Maddie, I'm program manager on the QuickSight team, and I'm excited to talk to you today about the Amazon Q and QuickSight capabilities for business users and business analysts. Um, let's take a look at the agenda. Okay, so what we'll be covering today is first just a quick overview of Amazon QuickSight and what the vision is and how we kind of started to begin with the Q and then transition to Amazon Q for generative AI capabilities. Um, and then we'll just go into what is Amazon Q and QuickSight covering the whole suite for authors, business users, and also a little bit for developers. Um, and then go into the specific capabilities for Amazon Q and QuickSight for business users. And then I'll show a demo of business user capabilities with Amazon Q, and it'll be a demo on media and entertainment information. It's really cool. And then I'll just briefly cover some learning resources. Okay, so let's get started. So what is Amazon QuickSight? Amazon QuickSight is a unified business intelligence service that performs at hyperscale. It is data-driven, um, so companies use Amazon QuickSight to provide data analytics to their users from a single source. Um, this comes through a suite of features including modern interactive dashboarding, pixel-perfect reporting, natural language queries with Amazon Q, and then embedded analytics. And then QuickSight automatically scales to tens and thousands of users without having to set up or configure or manage any software or your own servers, which is great. And this allows you to output high performance and speed um, of your deployment with our BI tool. So your business also benefits from QuickSight's low cost. Um, it's serverless, meaning you don't have to manage infrastructure capacity, and you don't need to upgrade any hardware to meet your increasing demands. Um, and with our pay-as-you-go pricing model, you can actually turn capital expense into variable expense, which results in a lower spending for your company. All right, and then let's kind of go over the Amazon QuickSight vision. So we operate with three layers in mind to serve various facets of your business. Um, the first one we have here is performance at scale. So the first is having a unique architecture, and this is achieved through a simple to manage AWS architecture that can auto scale with your company demands. And it also uses AWS cloud economics to lower spending for your company. Great. And then the next layer is a choice for consumption formats. Um, and this focuses on your users. So we aim to be the preferred choice for our customers to deliver data insights um, to every user in your organization. And to do that, we have capabilities for modern dashboards. Um, and you can create dashboards with several options for visualization and customization in your account, including embedded analytics through APIs and our software development kits. And then we also have pixel perfect reports um, if you need to send a multi-page highly formatted report to your users. And then similarly, we have data stories, which is also a report feature, and it's a capability that I'll dive into deeper once we talk about Amazon Q. And then with our in-house models um, and use of Amazon Bedrock, QuickSight is able to support natural language queries in your data to provide comprehensive answers using your data sets. Okay. And then this is the third layer. So our third layer is recently added for easy instant insights for everyone. And then this is Amazon Q. Um, and we call this the generative business intelligence, which is done through Amazon Q and QuickSight. Um, so at this level, business analysts and business users can enhance their QuickSight experience with generative business intelligence and AI capabilities powered by Amazon Bedrock and our own in-house models. Um, so what we want is for data insights to be easy and instant for everyone. Business users and analysts can leverage Amazon Q and QuickSight to reduce the time to insights with generative Q&A and become more efficient building their QuickSight dashboards using Amazon Q's generative builder and editor capabilities. Um, and so let's dive a little bit deeper into Amazon Q now. Okay, so previously we had QuickSight Q, but this was historically our natural language helper that provided users instant answers to questions on their dashboard's data. Um, but now we have developed a larger offering of these capabilities leveraging generative AI under Amazon Q and QuickSight. So with Amazon Q, you can enhance your productivity in QuickSight um, when building your dashboards and pulling meaningful data insights to share with others. So in the authoring experience, 
You are able to build visuals using natural language to ask Q exactly what you want um, to build for your dashboard. You can also create calculations or what we call calculated fields to add to your fields in your data set using natural language and then use them to create new visuals to your analysis. And this empowers authors who don't know specific syntax to easily build complex calculations. And then once you have your visuals added to your analysis, you can easily refine them by asking Q and natural language what you want to change and Amazon Q will make those edits for you, which saves you time formatting your visuals um, to your business's needs. Okay, and then so for business users who have Amazon Q, you get enhanced actionable insights from your dashboard with generative BI. Um, and we'll next go into the capabilities that this offers business users and some examples of what this looks like before our demo. Okay, so let's dive into the business users capabilities. There are three main areas that we'll cover for AI generated dashboard summaries, um, AI answers to questions on your data using the context of your dashboards insights. And then lastly, how you can share your dashboards insights using our data stories features, which utilizes Amazon Q to generate a complete narrative with the prompt that you provide it. And you can use natural language using your visuals from your dashboard to edit the data story as well. So starting off whoop, with AI powered insights on demand. So we're going to begin with Amazon Q's generative um, executive summary feature. Okay, so here you can see an example of an executive summary that Amazon Q has generated. And this is a dashboard for marketing and advertising. So Amazon Q gives us three major points. One is the total spending across campaigns. The second is which top three ads had the most spending. And then third is um, on the increase of total spending for Q1 of 2023. And this is just a zoomed in version of that. Um, so say if you want to see where the evidence is supporting these data points, like this one here. So this is the Q1 2023 data point. You can go ahead and click that. Um, and then this brings you to the exact visual that this data is shown. So as you can see in this graph, um, there was an uptick here. Okay, so you get brought to the visual that shows where this insight is coming from on your dashboard. And I can see here that, yep, there was a huge jump. Okay, and then to continue on from that, we have our generative Q&A. So say you want to ask further questions on your dashboard, Amazon Q allows non-experts on data to ask questions in natural language. And Q will actually provide generative answers using several visuals to show the context of its answer. So as you can see here, I've asked this question, what are the worst performing ads? And Q has generated this. Right, and then you can see that there. Um, and so Amazon Q has generated this multi-visual response along with the short narrative to support that. And I can see that Q responded with um, the total reach across all 14 ad names is 108 million. And then the ad with the lowest reach is 20% off Tasty's Kombucha with 3.4 million roughly each. And so I can see that Q responded with this and check how the visuals support this answer. It also gives me additional data. Um, so Q interpreted this as total reach by ad name. But I can also see the number of clicks in this table and overall clicks, reach and outbound cl clicks to see how all those compare. So I can get some more colorful context to this answer. And then this is the next capability, which is AI assisted storytelling. So once I'm ready to share my data insights with others in my organization, I can create a data story with Amazon Q. So I can either create a slideshow or scrollable page to tell my story, and I can build one by describing what I want to tell. So for this one, I asked Q to build a story about a marketing strategy to lower ad spending and increase reach and clicks. And then I also add what visuals from my dashboard I want to be included in the story. And Q generates my story with a title, which you can see here, context and insights from the visuals. And then once I go through the story, I can refine it by sections using Amazon Q's generative editor tool. And I can make written sections longer, shorter, or change the context to bullet points based on my preference. And then the final step to everything is once I'm done, I can share the story with others. Okay, so now we're gonna hop into the actual demo um, and let me go ahead and switch my screens. So this is um, what we'll be looking at for today's demo. 
Here, we're looking at a completed QuickSight dashboard um, that represents in-depth data on viewing habits for streaming television and film content on streaming platforms. All right, so the intended users of this dashboard are media and entertainment company leaders who want to analyze the historical data on subscription, content popularity, and viewership insights in order to inform the decision-making for content and platform performance on future investments. Um, and just a quick note that this data for the demo is fictitious and used for demo purposes only. Okay, so one of the sheets of this dashboard, um, which you can see at the top includes different ones, is the viewing stats page. But you could explore other ones as well. We'll start with this. Users can filter the data by year, gender, and age segment. And so if I click on this year, 2022, this will update all the visuals on the sheet to filter based on the field I identified. And so here we can see the updated visuals for the year 2022. Um, so notably, we can see on the left here that there was an uptick in views in the month of December and a large portion of views on the right visual with the map coming from the United States. Okay, so now we're going to generate an executive summary of the sheet with Amazon Q. So I'm gonna go ahead and press executive summary on this top right corner. And then in real time, Amazon Q will use the insights from this sheet's visuals to pull out a few callouts from this sheet. So we'll just wait for that to load really quickly. Okay, and here we can see that Q pulled out peak viewing hour times during the day um, as one of the insights, um, showing December's highest viewed month of the year as another, and the top three most viewed titles by hours viewed, and which days had the highest and lowest viewing times. So then, if you go ahead and click the thumbs up at the bottom, this sends your feedback to the team that the summary is accurate to the dashboard's visuals, and you can provide provide additional comments as well. So that looks pretty good. And then we're going to see one of the summary's points, which was this visual showing high views in December. And so I want to ask Amazon Q why that was. So here I'm typing, why did total hours watched increase in December 2022 to find out? Um, and then we'll just wait for Q to generate an answer. And it looks something like this, which shows four key drivers of this outcome, including genre, age segment, state, and rating. And then notice how Amazon Q interpreted this and the short narrative on the left, which provides the answer to the question. Um, all right, so now let's say I want to do a forecast of subscribers by month. Amazon Q uses the historical data from our data set to generate a future month's forecast as represented by this orange line here. And again, a brief narrative on the left that tells me any relevant callouts related to this, which is really helpful. Okay, so now I'm going to ask one more question, and then this time let's type in how many titles by type. Wait for that to load. Okay, and then notice that in this answer, Q provided multiple visuals to answer the question with the narrative again on the left, which is still loading. And so we can see here, this horizontal bar chart directly answers the question with movies producing the most titles. Um, and this one shows each type broken by titles created for film and television. It also gave me a table with additional details and the total number of titles created as well as the total number of types of titles, which are five, which you see in the top right corner. Okay, so now let's say I want to save one of these visuals to reference later. So I can actually use the pin board on Amazon QuickSight, which is basically a collection of visuals across my sheets from my dashboard that I have saved for later reference. And then you can see this, it looks like a little rectangle with a plus sign. Um, and that means you can add it to your pin board. And then now with this information, oh, sorry. you can see the pin board here. And so it shows me other pins that I've saved from all of my other sheets. So here so shows some of my titles, some of ours, which goes back to the details and popularity sheets on my dashboard. All right, and now I want to build a data story. So first I'll type a prompt um, into here, which is asking, say, what are my subscribers watching in December 2022? and then adding my visuals. And for this, I can add visuals across all my sheets that I want included in my story. Um, and so using these visuals, Amazon Q will generate insights from these graphs to give context to the prompt in a scrollable page or a slideshow format. But for this one, we'll do a scrollable page. 
You could also um, choose other visuals, including viewing stats. So right here, I'm doing the view stats by month. And then I also want to pick this most watched titles. All right, and then here we're gonna see the data story being built in real time. Um, and this takes a couple seconds, but Amazon Q behind the scenes is building me a story using these visuals contexts um, and insights pulled from there, and also going to generate titles and sections based on the visuals that I pulled and my prompt. So we'll go ahead and wait for this story to load. Okay, um, so here's the story that Amazon Q has built me. It has generated this title, streaming into the season, leveraging December viewing trends for success, and sequential sections using the visuals that I provided. Um, includes subtitles. And if we stop here in the demographic trend section, we can see that Amazon Q gave insights to the visual showing retired as the highest engagement, and then following with married adults and mature adults. And then notice the call out Amazon Q made at the end, that streaming platform should evaluate content based on older age preferences. So that's interesting. And then next, if I want to move on to the section, holiday genres and directors, we can see that Amazon Q calls out the top three genres, which were drama, comedy, and action, as well as the bottom three genres. It's also interesting to note here that it interpreted December as the holiday season. Okay, and then so the next one we're gonna go to is monthly viewing patterns. And this highlights the December's uptick that we noticed earlier, relating it back to the holiday season and connecting January and February views to the holiday season as well. Um, and this has a call to action to, for exclusive content during the season to attract and retain customers, which is interesting. And then this one is the top viewed titles, which calls out again that December uptick, or sorry, um, the top three titles and which genre and director should be interested to invest in. And then this next section adds for more calls to action um, and a conclusion section, which reiterates the points from the previous sections. So this one's giving some more interface customization options and then exclusive content. And then here we have some testing new ideas and a conclusion kind of summarizing all the sections before. Okay, so I think this is a pretty good start to the story, but let's say I wanna edit it further to bring in my own insights or change some of the formatting Q created. So I can do so with Q's um, generative editor tool. So let's look at this demographic trend section. This seems like a large chunk of context that isn't as easy to read for readers and say I wanna change this to bullet points. I can go ahead and click that and Amazon Q will break this up into bullets um, which I can then change automatically. All right. And then now say I want to change the theme of my story. I can go to the right pane of my screen and pick the theme. So I've chosen Dusk here. Um, and you can also create your own theme to match your company's colors by adding a custom theme and settings. So now I'm going to preview what my completed story looks like, which you can see here. And I click that, which brings me to this screen, and I can scroll through my whole story to see what it will look like to my end users. Great. And then this looks pretty good. All right. And then lastly, I'm going to go back to the story edit screen. And then the last step is to share this story with relevant team members for review. And so I'm going to go ahead and press that, and then I can share.